Hello, welcome in this new Painting in Motion video. I thought I would record the first Nixie created in my 100 Nixie personal project. Uh, I'm talking more about that on the blog if you're interested. And as you can see, I already have a background. I took four 6x6 six six inches wood panel um, that I had on end and leftover paint that I had from a bigger painting and just created background and then Nixis came and this is how my project came to life. So the Nixie was already sketched and I decided to do a first coat of Titan Buff first. It's warmer than just white. As you can see the crayon I used for sketching is water soluble so it reacts with the paint. This is what I was looking for and for once I picked a blue color and now I'm adding a bit of shadow with a darker brown. I think it was raw umber. I'm not looking for perfection but this Nixie had so much emotions that I just went for that instead. And believe it or not, but it's been about 10 years since I started doing faces in my art and I'm still struggling with shading. It, you know, it's too so beautiful on others and it's still a real struggle for me, but I'm not giving up, never. So now making the nose more of an actual nose. And at this point I didn't know if she would have eyes or not. So I was just listening to what was going on. And she told me she needed eyes. So I used um, water soluble oil pastels and then activated them with the leftover paint on my pen brush as well just for placement. It's the first time that I'm not speeding up my video, so you have an idea of in real time. She needed color, so I, did, I added a little of Venetian Rose, which is one of my new favorite colors and I'm not a pink person so it says a lot. I'm just building the layers. A face when it comes to my style they have a lot of layers even if you don't necessarily see them when finished. And there was a lot of thinking so I took a smaller brush with just a tiny bit of water and decided to make that cross from a stencil from Strumpet stencil more visible. I'm curious, what do you think it means that she has that instead of a mouse? So now I'm using my trustworthy Stabilo Graphite Water Soluble to define her eyes more. And eyebrows. And more shading. I just love blending wet, wet paint together. <laughs> That's something that really makes me happy. She starts to look like something. Thinking, 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 what next? When I don't know what to do on the face, I go on the air. And 
I picked the cobalt from Golden and aren't you happy it's back after years of cobalt teal cobalt is back and I'm just so darn happy about that so I just wanted to have a sense of more color this is why I picked this one and it's semi translucent so I can see the I love the background and I didn't want to lose everything of that so that's why don't forget the sides And it was a little bit too translucent, so I added a bit of Titan Buff. But you can see the background underneath still. It was important to me. And now it was too opaque, so using my catalyst um, tool to scrape some off. That's better, way better for me. What now? Something was missing, so I took uh, a dark blue what a soluble oil pastel to define the air and using the same brush without anything added to it with the leftover paint I went over the line just to blend it in and it instantly made me feel way better about it sometimes it doesn't take a lot I wasn't sure if I wanted to let the eyes as they were because I like them but I decided she needed deep blue ocean eyes so I used some cobalt turquoise and blended in some titan buff darker blue with a very fine pen brush the eyes are not equal and that's totally fine with me oopsie that's fine just a paper towel when it's corrected There's way too much water on my pen brush. Going with it. I did the white highlight. And layers. I love these pen brushes from Dina Wakely. I 
I'll list the supplies I used both on the blog and in the YouTube description box if you're interested. Going with my finger creates a different effect than with my pen brush. And there's no painting I create where my fingers are not directly involved at some point. So I'm tapping more of that Venetian rose on the cheeks. And you'll see in the close-up that it creates beautiful texture. And this is red oxide. Or blush tint, I can't remember. It creates kind of a freckles effect because there's not a lot on my finger. And blending in. Drying everything so it won't be messed up with. And she's a king! So she needed a crown and it's crooked on purpose so you see it doesn't sit really nicely on the hair with a very fine gold paint. The thing with gold paint is you usually need several layers and that's fine. And some definition with my graphite. And she's ready! I hope you enjoyed picking at my brain while I'm creating. And don't forget to share the love with your friends and to give me a comment. Do you like this format of video or do you prefer the sped up versions and um, a thumb up so I know that you liked it. Take care, bye!